Hey everybody, we're back in the scarf closet for another reaction video. This reaction uh, is about the terrible loss, terrible loss against Chicago. Uh, we, we got a couple of fans that sent in their reactions and uh, they're not happy, of course. Uh, this, this video is coming to you a little late, apologize for that, but uh, two great submissions for the reaction series. And let's start off with, well, Diablo's back and uh, he's got some energy. Let's check it out. Football world! MLS world once again, coming at you. Derek Diablo, Del Boy D, into Miami firm. Miami Cash with Diablo TV. And I come to you on the heels of an epic battle that took place in Chicago, Soldier Field, the legendary Soldier Field, into Miami versus Chicago Fire. It was a battle for the ages. And yes, we fell one nil. And we fought and came up short and fought and came up short. We're missing our star player, the one and only Rodolfo Pizarro. So you already know going into a match when you don't got your star player, you know you're gonna have a hard time. Robinson re-injured by the hamstring. I know what that feels like. I've had my hamstring torn and come back in this operation and push myself just a little too far and re-injure that, I know the feeling of that. So yes, we had a hard time. We're playing one of the greatest teams anywhere on this planet. They can play against anybody, anytime. Don't let the record fool you. So, my guys had a hard time. We lost the match, it's true, but every match we're gaining ground. We're getting experience, you understand? We're building the momentum. And coach never had some hard words. Ryan Shawcross has some hard words for the guys, talking about who wanted it more. But allow me to be the first one to say, maybe some of those guys was a bit unnerved going to Chicago for the first time. Could be that, and that would be understandable. Great city, Chicago. Ha <laughs> ha, city of Al Capone, and a lot of other street culture that has worked its way down here, you see. So, in conclusion, yeah, we could have played better. We know that, but, if any Miami want to see a drastic change, as I said before in my videos, I'm the only man that has possession of the secret formations of the lost Newton Heath LYR manual, you understand? And I'm the only one currently around, as far as I know, that's in possession of this knowledge. So I've offered to work with the team and see if we could recover some of this knowledge together. If we did something like that, <laughs> well, now you might be talking about a drastic outcome that could be different on the pitch. But until then, and I'm still willing to help in any way I can. But until, until then, expect us to keep improving little by little. We're going to sometimes have losses. That's going to be tough to bear. But make no mistake about it, as I said before. And Miami is the greatest, the best, and the best there ever will be. We're still improving. It's only our first real season, baby. <laughs> Stay tuned. Did Diablo say something about Chicago being like one of the best in the world or something? Or that players might be a little intimidated going into Chicago? I mean, we're talking about Chicago fire here. Diablo, come on. I mean, we got to respect all opponents. But Inter-Miami lost to a really bad team. Let's not puff up Chicago so much. And at least not at this point. Inner Miami's got to improve. All right, now we've got another submission from one of our regular FMTV weekly uh, viewers and participants. Take it away, Jet Pancake. Hello, um, it's Jet Pancake. And uh, a couple of things I wanted to talk about about the Chicago game was... Um, you know, it was probably the worst game I've seen from Miami, probably in possibly even the two seasons in our history. Um, a couple of things I wanted to say was McCarthy was OK before the mistake. But, um, yeah, we can't really blame him too much because the attack was super dead. Didn't look like we were going to get any attacks going on. We had four shots in total, which is which is really bad. Um, 
the midfield was really dead. Um, I don't think Federico did much, really. I kind of wish Pizarro was on the bench to go in, but um, we didn't. Um, another thing is Uyoa as a right back is a horrible idea. We got to have someone that can do a better job. Um, yeah, Shawcross just looked out of it too like at every break we had he he took a sip of water um i don't know if he's really fit um figal did okay it was good to see him back but not not too good um jones was decent too i kind of liked his attacking runs but it looks like no one else was attacking um gonzalo was really frustrated when that shot hit um i think it was carranza that was a bad thing but um, we got to wake up, I feel like, and um, hopefully, you know, Phil Neville does some changes quickly because uh, we can't be losing points against teams at the bottom of the table. So uh, that's all I got to say. Thank you. All right. That's some pretty good analysis. Jet, we couldn't see you. Oh, we want to see that, uh, that pretty face of yours there, Jet Pancake. Next time, uh, you know, let's see you. Let's see what you look like. All right. That's part of the fun. Hey, next week, or this coming weekend, it's not next week, this weekend, we're playing DC United at Drive Pink Stadium, and we're going to do things a little different for the reaction. I'm going to walk around after the game with my cell phone trying to find some people to film and get their reactions. So if you see me or Ed, we'll probably be together, uh, you know, stop us and let us film you with your reactions from that game. So you're not gonna have a lot of time to really analyze and watch it again. We want your pure emotions on what we hope is a victory against DC United. So after the game, look out for us and uh, we'll capture your reactions. And uh, you know, it, so the reaction series will be a little bit different, a little more raw maybe, a little more excited. So we'll do that next, on the, um, ne you'll see that video next week, maybe sometime around Tuesday. So thanks so much for, for your submissions. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next week. And don't forget to watch FMTV Weekly every Sunday night at 7, where me and Ed, along with you, have a lot of fun uh, in our live chat and our live uh, opinions. And you, we take, we take uh, voicemails as well. So it's a lot of fun. So join into that on uh, Sunday nights at 7 p.m. right here on this channel. Thanks a lot, everybody.